Once again, good morning. Good morning. Uh, God is still good despite the situation right now in our city. And God remains untouchable and unwavered because God already knew about this. And as Christians, it is our responsibility to be always vigilant and be prepared anytime, especially prepared to pray. That's what we are doing right now. Amen. We celebrate Mass last Sunday despite of the onslaught of the rain, the flood. Even if we are just, I know, a few people of us have came to attend church, but it does not matter. What matters most is our heart, you know, is for the Lord during that day and also for the people who were affected by this calamity. Who is the disciple that Jesus loved most? Of course, it is John the Apostle whose feast we, are celeb we celebrate today. That's why our readings today point to St. John the Beloved. Among many other reasons, John is the beloved apostle because he remained with Jesus until his death on the cross. John never left Jesus like what others did. Si Juan, nga pinangga, or gihigugma ni Jesus, mokini ang apostol ni Jesus, nga mausap ang nagsulat sa libro sa Gipadayag. Og si Juan, wala niya biyae si Jesus. Bisan sa iyang kamatayon. He stood for Jesus and was never afraid to show his fidelity to him. John showed his faith in Jesus by remaining with him until the end. This is perhaps the reason why he is called the beloved disciple of Jesus. Many times in our lives, we also profess that we love Jesus. But when temptation comes along, we often choose to be tempted rather than remain faithful to Jesus. Kita sad, musulti po ta nga nahigugma ta sa ginoo. Pero pag muabot na gani ang mga pagsuway o mga tintasyon sa kinabuhi, dito kita muuban perme sa pagsulay o sa tintasyon. Manang goodbye, Jesus. Pareha sa Giyapon sa itong sitwasyon karon, Nagbaha, na, na nga, nagulan, kusog, na nga piktuhan tang tanan. Pero sa wala pa ang ulan o ang baha, we say we love Jesus. Musimba ta, baha lang nagulan. Muingon pa ta nga pugnan pa'y baha. Pero aman ta karon, di ba? That's why, this is primarily the reason why many of us live complicated and chaotic lives. Because we say that we love Jesus, but when temptation comes along, we are easily swayed by these temptations. Matod pa sa Tagalog nga sinultian, masarap ang bawal. Mauna nga dito kita sa bawal. That's why it is easy for us to be swayed. But what if we try to be faithful to Jesus? What would be the effect of it in our life? Kung sulayan na to nga magmatinod anon diha sa ginoo, unsa kay ipikto ni ini sa atong kinabuhi? If we would be faithful to Jesus, we would avoid self-inflicted problems. And we will not fear whatever that may come to us. Amen? Kung magbatinod anong tadi sa ginoo, ato ginang malikayan ang mga problema nga kita ragihapoy naghimo o dili ta mahadlok kung unsay mo abot kung magpabilin ta nga matinod anon sa ginoo. Sama ni Juan, hangtod sa kamatayo ni Kristo, nagpabilin gihapon siya o ban kang Kristo. How about us? If we face danger, if we face like this calamity, we face any temptation sa atong kinabuhi, can we stand firm in our faith and say, 
I am faithful to God. Makasulti ba ta ni Ana? Taliwala sa mga pagsulay o mga sitwasyon sa itong kinabuhi? Labi na sa mga tintasyon? Ato bang mabarugan ang atong mga kristohanong prinsipyo panahon sa tintasyon o magpadalata sa tintasyon? Why is this so? The reason behind is we remained with Jesus and we never betray Him no matter how attractive the temptations to do so. Nga magpabilin ta sa ginoo, bisag unsa pa kanindot ang mga tintasyon nga muabot. Sama ni Kristo, gitintal siya sa yawa dito sa kamingawan. Daghan kayong gipakita ang yawa sa iya nga nindot kayo. O ni atong panahuna, si Kristo tao, pwede kaayo siya madala sa mga pagtintal sa yawa, but He remained faithful sa iyang amahan. And that is why the devil hates Jesus so much. Why? Not just only for His humility, but because of His faithfulness to God the Father. And the devil will hate us so much if we remain faithful to God. If we remain faithful sa atong pagpangalagad, if we remain faithful and obedient sa atong mga leaders, if we remain faithful sa atong mga saad sa ginoo, if we remain faithful sa atong paghatag sa atong tithes and offerings, the devil will also hate us so much. Because the devil wants us to be loyal to him, to Satan. The devil does not want us to be loyal to God. That is why when we are faced with temptations and we disregard or discard our Christian principles and values, that is the time that we fall into temptation and our faithfulness shifts from God's to the devil's. That is why faithfulness is very important. Because the devil will always try to target us. The devil will always try to attack us from any direction just to shift our faithfulness from God's to His. Aron lang nga makuha ang atong atensyon palayo sa ginoo. Maunay tumong permis yawa. That is why just like John the Beloved, I hope and pray that we will remain faithful to God until the end. Until our very last breath. Nga bisag unsaon pa pagtulisok sa ato uh, bisan pagpanglungguan tagliog at the end like the martyrs of old okay nga magpabilin ta that we profess our faith for God our love for God makita paghihapon ba like unlike the movies nga lo loyal kayo sa usa ka amo tapos nadakpan gikulata Gi torture, gi operan, o kwarta, o sa panadya, aron lang mutugan, asa si kuan. Wagid ka pugong, kinasulaw sa mga, sa mga gi offers sa iya ha, nitugan. But at the end, namatay ra gihapon siya. Kaya wala siya gi buhi, you know, sa nagdakop sa iya ha. And that's what we think. If we think nga, nga kung pwede ta mo buhi sa ginoo sa atong pagkamatinod anong diya kaniya, because we will be faithful on something, we think nga okay ra kayo. Actually, we are putting our lives in danger, at risk, because we might lose everything if we do that. Okay? Especially temptations that come from the enemy. Kung magpadala ta ni Ine, ah, okay ra man, okay ra man, kay total, kasimba ra magyapong ko. So, okay ra magyapong nga mag, ginag mga pagpadala lang ko ginagmay ani mga tentasyon no okay ra you can the bible says you cannot serve two masters at the same time you could love the other or hate 
the other one. So, pili ka. Whether you are for God or you are for the devil, you choose. And I hope and pray that we will choose like what Joshua chose. Choose this day for whom you're going to serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen? Nga hinaot kita o ang atong banay ang Diyos labang ang atong pilion ng alagaran o simbahon. Wala nilain. Not even our own selves. We cannot choose ourselves to please ourselves. That is why St. John, the beloved, the apostle, the martyr, who is a living example for all of us of his faithfulness towards God. Amen, Batana. Please stand.